Hey guys, Parfax here. All right, bringing you guys a different game. I know, I know. It's not ESO, but hey, what can I say? This is to help some people out playing this game. The game is called Reign of Kings. It is an uh, open world sandbox. You have a map, you don't necessarily get a map, but the map is just one map. Some stuff changes a little bit for the most part. It's all pretty much the same. And it's kind of like a Minecraft in a way where you get to build your houses and you can build these big empires. There's a king, which I'll show you his castle in this video. But this video is to show you guys exactly what you want to do when you first start playing. All right. As you can see here, you're going to spawn on a beach. And the first thing you're going to do is go towards the castle. All right. So right over here, some clay deposits. You don't really need them right now. If you want to go ahead and mine some up, you can, but I don't suggest you waste in your inventory slots on them. All right. And you see these little, this bush up here, it's got a little red spot in it. Right there. There's a berries. You're going to want to pick them up. You just hold E. I'm going to go ahead and eat. The bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a little, uh, three little bars. The top one is your stamina, the middle one is your hydration, and your bottom one is your food. And these berries are going to increase your food by a little bit, but your hydration for a lot more. All right. Now, those little flowers right there, well, they look like little white bushes. You're going to want to pick those up. Those are flax. All right. And you're going to need flax as soon as you start out. Look, it's a little bunny. Ooh, I got it. Come on. Come on. You don't have to do this, but it's kind of fun. Kind of hard to hit, as you can see. Alright, I'm going to third person. It's just easier to play it that way. Yeah, look at that hairdo. As you can see, it's very easy to get distracted in this game. Yeah! Come on! Got it. Oh no, it's still alive. Alright. Now once you kill an animal, you beat it to get all its contents. You can see the bottom right there. It's showing you exactly what I got. Alright, so I'm going to hit my eye for my inventory. And it gave me one meat, which if you make a fire, which we'll make here in a little bit, you can get it. It gave me some blood, which is used in potions. And it gave me leather hide, which is used in a bunch of different things, and fat, which is used in some type of candles. Alright, so now we have a little bit of food as well. We're going to go toward the castle. Alright, you see that big thing over there with the, looks like a, I guess, a castle looking thing. It's basically a helmet. That's the king's castle. Now most of the, the resources in this game are spawned around that castle. So it's, it's a great point of advantage because you can, once you get high enough, you can pretty much see it from everywhere. See right here, this is flax. So we can go ahead and pick some of that up. All right. And here's our first valuable resource we're going to need stone. All right. This game has a lot of crafting in it. And as you can see, I'm going to hit this stone block. And it's giving me two stone a hit. Each one of these stone blocks has 100 stone in them. It would take me forever to mine this if it was just using this thing. And this club you get when you first spawn as well. All right. We gather some stone here. All right. And hit I. I'm going to scroll down. Now, these are your first two harvesting tools that you're going to want to make as soon as you come in the game. All right. Uh, first, we're going to want to make a stone hatchet. All right. It says we need 10 flax, which we have. We need 25 wood, which we don't have, and four stone, which we have. So we're going to go right over here, this tree, and we're going to go ahead and get that 25 wood that we need. Just chopping away. 
Now, eventually, if you hit them long enough, they will fall down, but we're not going to come close to hitting them long enough. All right, so we got 26 wood. So we're going to go in here in inventory. We're going to hit craft. It's going to craft it. Boom. Put a stone hatchet right there. Bink. All right. Now, the next thing that we need is a pickaxe. All right, and as you can see, the only thing we need is wood. And that is the reason why I crafted the hatchet first, because you need wood for a lot of things. Now, I kind of went over that quickly, but let's say, let's bring this down here. In order to put something up there, you just drag it up there, and that's your number key. So if I just want to hit one, two, and then three. Pretty simple. All right, so let's get enough wood for my stone hatchet. Now, as you may know, I am swinging differently than the first time. All right, there's three basic attacks. There's left click mouse. There is scroll wheel back. And there's scroll wheel forward. All right. The scroll wheel forward is really good if you, you're trying to get small animals. Because you can kind of just stab them. You get right behind them, you can stab them. All right. Now I have enough to make my stone pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make it. All right, we're going to put the number four slot. And we're going to mine some stone. Do, 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 do. All right, as you can see in the bottom right there, it is adding up my stone and put it in my inventory. Now, they will stack in your inventory in stacks of 1,000. So once you get past 1,000, it's going to create a new... Uh, what, what would you call it? Like a new spot in your inventory. So you got 110 of that. You got 31 wood. All right. Now, depends what you want to do. If you want to try to just make a base and not worry about a whole lot else first, you're going to want to continue mining this, these stones. And there's some down here, as you can see down there. There's some over in the hayfield. And if you keep following this path, there are some down that way. All right, but this is what I suggest you do. Now, this server has nobody on it as of when I joined it. All right, this is a public server, but this one had nobody on it because I wanted to show you guys without being killed. All right, now this is what I do. I go in, I get a little bit of stone, I get my hatchet, I get kind of those things made, and then I'm going to get a bunch of wood. And here in a second, I will show you exactly why you want a bunch of wood. And as you can see, look at it, it's getting six a hit instead of two. It's a lot better. Now you can make different materials. You can make them out of different materials, which I'll show you here in a little bit, and it will hit even more. All right, that's that's the basic amount. We're gonna scroll all the way down to projectiles, and we're gonna make a javelin. We're just gonna make as many as we want. If you left click and drag all the way to the right, it'll fill up as much as you can. I can make 13 of them in each. It says I make 13 but it makes three for each. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here. Should make 36, no, 39. It's good math there. All right, and these are gonna be some of your, this is your basic ranged weapon, but it works really good. All right, we're gonna go up here and see this like green mist. This is what they call the plagued city. All right, now right outside of it, which we should see, very soon, I'm hoping. Don't want to be called a liar. Fucked up some berries. Berries are always good. Well, I guess we can go to the other side because I don't see any over here right now. The spawns are kind of weird on these. Sometimes, if you like, oh, I'm going away. Look back. Okay, not nothing spawned. Okay, there's two doors. There's this one out front. Oh, there's one. See? There he is. See, sometimes if you just kind of like walk away, look away, look back, they'll spawn up. Dun, dun, dun. I know you like my butt. You like it, don't you? Uh, uh. All right. And there's no cursor on these, so you have to kind of judge. I missed. Do these guys have 100 health? I just hit them. There we go. Oh. And as you see, they hit 
every time it hits it does 8 damage. Now, as you see he's a lot slower. Once you hit him a few times you get some critical hits on him and uh, basically uh, they don't really crit but once you do enough damage to him they will slow down and then you loot him. Look at that. Boom. Iron pickaxe and a diamond which we'll use those in a later time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put that diamond pickaxe up here. Or I mean, I'm sorry, that iron pickaxe up here. Any more villagers? Nope, there's one. Let's go kill him. Dun, dun, dun. Sometimes these will bounce off. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you have plenty. I want at least 15 when I start attacking these guys. And now, I'll show you something that a lot of people don't know. At least when you first start out. So let's say you're out of javelins, you want to go hit them. Your own javelins will hurt you. So you got to make sure you have enough javelins to do it. Boom. Done. And here's the gods. Another late game material. Alright, so I'm going to show you what this pickaxe does. It swings. Oh, let's pick up this because we, like I said, we need a lot of that, so make sure we pick it up. Alright, so I'm just going to show you exactly how much this hits for. 10. So this is the next upgraded one from my stone one, and you get four more per hit. That's pretty good, I think. Just time is money. So the faster you can chop those down, the better. That's 10 hits. Is all it took for me to get that down. Let's get some flax here. All right, now you got a little bit of well, actually, I say a little bit of wood, but we don't because I used it. All right, so let's chop down another tree, and we'll start from there. Now, on most servers, when you go to some place uh, around here, at least, you're gonna find some people. So you gotta watch your back. It's best to play this game in pairs of twos. But you can definitely play this game solo, because i played this game solo many of many of times. And as you can see, it at nighttime it, it gets kind of gets kind of dark. As you see, it's falling down. And we're just going to finish chopping it up here. Couple more hits. Look at that, that's a lot of wood. 200 wood, exactly. Alright, so you're where you want to be, and you want to start crafting. All right, first thing I always craft is a workbench. So you craft the, the base workbench in your inventory and it takes a minute to craft. So while you're waiting for it to craft, you can maybe chop down some wood if you're not near some stone, if you're near some stone, go ahead and hit that. Stone is something you always wanna have, you can never have too much of because wood you can find everywhere, stone you cannot. Stone only comes in um, a couple certain areas and they respawn there over and over again. You can pick up some off the cliffs, but it's definitely a million times faster to do it this way. So what I like to do is maybe even craft your inventory and then mine stone while you're waiting. So building next to stone is really valuable, but very risky because if I build my place right here, which I'm going to basically do that for the purpose of this video, it is very risky and it's got one second boom just pops in inventory I'm gonna put it up here we're gonna say screw everybody else and I'm gonna put this right next to the stone boom all right we have a basic workbench now you go to and hit E and these are the things I can craft all right got some torturing devices as everybody needs in their daily living so it's a gallows where you like to hang people if you so choose a uh, wooden cage if you want to trap somebody. Hey, you know, it's all up to you. You got a rope so you can rope people. Yeah, you can rope people in this game. You got some beds. But what I like to do is I, I try to upgrade mine as fast as I can. Now, we can build some basic wood blocks, which I'll build. How many do I have? I have enough for two right now. I'll go ahead and build two so I can show you exactly what the building's like. Chop down some more trees here in a second. But I like to upgrade my workbenches as fast as I can. So this needs 55 flax, and which we have 15, which we don't have enough, and it needs 90 wood. 
So we're going to go ahead and gather those up. It should only take a minute or two here. Alright guys, I'm back. Fixed my mouse problem. And I went ahead and gathered up some resources so you guys will actually have to watch me gather up the resources. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is I want to upgrade this bench. Alright, and these 55 flax and 90 wood. As you see, I've got plenty of that. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade it. Close out that. Now, while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and go right here to campfire. And we're going to go ahead and make a campfire. It's going to be a minute as well. So while you, they're doing that, you can go ahead and, like I said, you know, maybe pick up some berries. A bunch of berries around here. I got a ton of berries now. Maybe even kill a moose. Oh no, it's running away. I don't think I'm going to catch it. Oh, oh. Oh well. We'll go back and see if those things are about done. Alright, it's got five seconds left on that. So that means this other one's going to be pretty much done. Alright, here it is. And as you can see, it added this little, like, Fletcher looking thing on the side. Not really a Fletcher, but like a Skinner, I guess you could call it, or... I think it's called like a tanner, I don't know. But um, we don't have iron, so I'm not going to worry about upgrading that. But we're going to go ahead and make some more of these wood blocks. Make 33 of them. And then we're going to go ahead and place this down. And this is going to be where you cook some food. Put that in the input. The seven wood right here. And it's going to light up and it's going to cook us some food. I need to actually eat as well, so I mean some berries to get my hydration up. Alright, that should be good for right now. Let's go ahead and check this and see. Alright, we got our blocks. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of building. Alright, I'm just going to equip it. And it's going to bring out, it's kind of like Minecraft and the fact that it's got blocks. But just left click it. And then like there, I messed up. If you scroll over it and right click it, it'll delete it. And it'll only delete it if you haven't logged out or if you have a crest down, which I'll show you here in a second. And now how you build that fast is if, let's get this clear this layer out. You look down at the floor and see how I'm already on a block. You hold your left mouse button and just walk. It will go ahead and just fill it in while you're walking. I can just keep walking if I wanted to. And then right click to delete. All right. Now, I would never suggest building right here because people will get very, very mad. But for the sake of learning, I'm just going to go ahead and put up a wall here. You're claustrophobic, you might not like this. Oh, we're out of blocks. That's okay, you can kind of see the premise behind this. And then if you have enough wood, you're going to want to make sure you go over to this crafting table and scroll down and make at least a wooden door. Now, having said that, I want, to see, I want you to see something. All right. See how I'm actually doing damage. Even with my club, I can go ahead and destroy this. So let's show you 
doesn't take too long. Now, an enemy is going to take a little bit longer to destroy this. But I'm going to go ahead and show you here. And, oh, there we go, destroyed. All right, see, you can destroy it. Now, if we go in here and make a stone block, I'm just going to go ahead and make as many as I want. That's the reason, hmm, actually, we need to upgrade this one more before we can make stone blocks. We don't have any iron. But if you make a stone block and put it on there, you cannot damage it with a weapon. So, yeah, so word of the wise, you can build this, but other players can hack through it. Now, stone blocks can be trebuchets, that'll be a later episode. Alright guys, I hope this helped. This is just episode one of many on Reign of Kings. Alright, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you like me, go ahead and subscribe. I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe already. But if this is your first time watching me, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me out a little bit. And that way, when I come out with more videos, you'll know about it. So you can watch them and I can help you out. All right, leave me some comments. Tell me what you feel. All right.